Now beats mode, as I was saying, is Ableton's most basic warp mode. But like I said, there's some hidden treasures in there that I wanted to share with you that allow you to do some really interesting things to audio loops of drum breaks. I have another beat right now. Here's what it sounds like in its original form. Now, some of the live drummers that I've worked with over the years will do different things to make their drum sound shorter. You hear how the snare rings out really long right now. One thing that some hip hop drummers will do is they'll just take something, sometimes just their wallet out of their back pocket and put it on the top of the snare and it deads out all of the ring of the snare so you get a short little snappy snare. So I want to show you a way that we can actually kind of go through and effectively you know, choke out the entire rhythm so that it sounds nice and short. Right now the drums ring out really long. The kick, the snare, hi-hat, everything's very long. To get that more reined in kind of a sound, I'm going to go down here into my clip detail view. And we can adjust some parameters here. We have this thing that's called the granular resolution and things that allow us to adjust how Ableton is going to process the transients of the sound. Right now, it's in this transient mode. We'll leave it there. I don't want to look at this section right here. If we change this to the one that has the forward arrow with that line, and then start to roll this number down here. Listen. All of a sudden, the whole kit is just gated sounding, right? So there's a few different tricks we can do with that. If you just want that nice gated sound, that's all you'd have to do. But there's a few variations of this that we can do. I'm going to change it now into this mode right here, the two forward arrows. And extend this a little bit. And now I'm gonna change the transposition. Listen what happens. All kinds of crazy glitchy possibilities when you start working with that. Let's see what happens if I combine this with a basic drum break that I programmed. Here's the original drum break. And now we'll use that one that I just twisted up as a texture. So that's a really interesting feature that many producers don't even know about. It's right there under your nose in the most basic warp mode of them all in Ableton, Beats Mode. So check that out. It'll allow you to take a drum break and get that nice gated sound where you shorten the tail of every drum sound. Or if you want to get more creative, go ahead and try exploring the transient mode, the transient envelope, and the transposition and you start to get some really abstract textures that you can layer up in your drum sound.